Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bright Torn, and welcome back to Hard Time 4 as we are playing with Greece. So, we're going to be continuing the war against Turkey. Hopefully, we'll get this finished soon. I'd like to get it done in this episode if we can. We're moving kind of slow, but we have made a lot of progress. Uh, we cut off and destroyed quite a few troops, uh, also sunk all those troops. Uh, of Romania. We haven't seen any convoy battles here in the Black Sea for a while, so perhaps they're out of convoys at this point. Uh, we'll have to take a look at that. Uh, but yeah, we did move our spy over to here since, you know, obviously we already took over uh, the capital. Uh, let's go ahead and do the attack here to stop this guy from leaving because we're very close to getting him cut off in just two hours. I'm not sure who would get there first, so let's make sure that it won't be him. Uh, then also, we need to lock down this unit here, although. I suppose we'll be alright because he'll get there first. Yeah, and then he'll attack. And this will allow us to wipe this guy out. Let's go and work on that. So another division cut off. Unfortunately, they were going to this province here. It's kind of what I was expecting. So we have to get that tank unit destroyed. And this is what we're going to do. I guess he's already attacking over there. So we'll get that guy, not destroyed, but pushed back. And then we'll, we'll get these guys cut off. That'll be two more Romanian divisions that we can get wiped out. Let's go ahead and make sure that not too many divisions are coming over here. Yeah, let's keep this guy on this front here. And I suppose we can push forward right here as well. These guys are really weak. Let's go ahead and stop that attack. Although I think we were doing that to keep these guys locked down, weren't we? Alright, so that's a, that's a shame. It did result in... I think, yeah, that division got there, but he didn't get in, uh, there in time to actually reinforce. All right, excellent. Uh, so we did cut these guys off here. Let's go ahead and get them wiped out now. And we're going to have this cab division push over here, and we'll allow him to stay in this location. Still have to get that air base taken. Again, that's going to be key for us in the air war, making sure they don't have any close air bases, so they'll have a uh, much worse efficiency overall, allowing us to hopefully gain control of the skies. All right, let's go ahead and assist here. And we might go ahead and help out here. Yeah, make sure that this unit can, can push forward. So just need to get that unit right there, or those two units right there overrun. We've already done that over here. We got our planes moved as well, so we should be seeing better efficiency. So we're at 54.6%. We were at 52% 52 per, uh, 52 for air security before, but you can see that the air mission efficiency is much higher. And uh, we are now doing better in the battle. So maybe efficiency was uh, part of the issue here, as we we're just too far away. So our efficiency was, I think it was like 40% or something like that. We checked it last episode, but yeah, it wasn't, wasn't very high. So I think that's what the issue was. Uh, let's see if we can't get a win right here. We'll attack with this guy. And then if we can take that province right there with this cab unit as soon as this one's done moving here. Why is he leaving? Is he coming over to this front? Yeah, he's coming over to this front. Uh, let's go ahead and support here. And then we'll bring this guy over here. But yeah, we'll try and take this and then cut those two divisions off. And here we're just sitting on defense because there's just really no good uh, locations to go to. Uh, however, we do have an issue here. They're going to try and take in car back, so we can't allow that. So we're going to attempt to do these two attacks to assist. Uh, we do have a decision available. So this is that heroism one. So this would allow us to get more war support. However, I think there's several other things we need to do with our little power right now. So first of all, we could really help with the stability here by getting rid of the communists, either crushing them or befriending them. That's an option as well. That'll cost stability, though. So I'm not sure if Crush the co Communist makes them inconsequential. You would think so. Befriending them, though, gives you a permanent bonus here. We're going to get that recruitable population factor and stability. So that would actually be really helpful to have. That's 250 political power, though. All right, so let's say we don't want to be notified of this one here. Because I don't think we're going to do that right now. Our problem really isn't the uh, war support. It's actually the stability here. Uh, another thing we can do is spend our experience. Because we haven't gotten all of our bonuses here. So let's go ahead and fill these out. Uh, so here we're going to do the theater training. This will get us a train trait experience gain. That's pretty helpful because the train traits are, are very nice to have. Uh, also you have a 50% chance that new officers will have the brilliant strategist or the inflexible strategist. Just gotta kind of hope you get the, the positive one there. Uh, with the Navy command, I think we're going to go with the instilled aggression. 
I could go Convoy Warfare, but Seawolf is fairly easy to gain. So I think we're going to go ahead and get the Instilled Aggression instead. And then with the Air Force Command, we're going to do the Centralized Control for the Fighter Detection and for the Air Mission Efficiency. So that should help us over here in the skies quite a bit as well. So we'll see that go up. Yeah, look at that. And with just that bonus there, we are now green in both the Black Sea and in Asia Minor. All right, so that's going to be tremendously helpful because that's going to be a nice uh, bonus that we're getting. Uh, we're going to push forward here. And yeah, I really want to go this way as soon as this division leaves. We've got a few hours. But yeah, we don't have anybody here to do that. So we need to defend here first. And you know, I guess we can send the cab unit over there. All right, so we are winning this battle here. We're going to keep our own attacks going for now. And yeah, the uh, war in America keeps on spreading. United States is not involved in that conflict right now, though. And did I not let this guy get out of there? Oh, a new division got there. Okay. So this is what we'll have to do. We'll have to attack. I suppose we'll assist with this guy here. Trying to cut off those two divisions, but yeah, they're causing us some problems here. Uh, we did push forward right there. We've also wiped out those divisions, so they're going to be coming to the front line. But yeah, we're making progress. We've seen that they, they still outnumber us manpower-wise, though that is including any divisions that Romania has back home. We still haven't got this airbase yet. Again, I kind of want to win here and cut three divisions off now. Yeah, this should work out nicely at this point. And then let's send that CAD division back over here. And we just really need to sit on the fence here, so let's just send more divisions to do that. And then what I'm going to do is have this guy go here. And then, hey, can, uh, this guy can come back over here, rather than whatever it was he was doing. So we'll cut off those three divisions, but I don't want to attack there, because I think we would force him to retreat. And so yeah, we don't want that to happen. Uh, we can go ahead and stop this attack now that we have finished up with the defense there. Alright, so we're doing pretty good overall. And uh, getting control of the skies, I think, is going to have a huge... Uh, it's going to be a huge help to us. And let's go ahead and send... One more division over here. And yeah, you can see the, the front is definitely starting to clear up some. They just don't have the troops anymore. Despite outnumbering us. Alright, so it's going to get these three divisions wiped out. So that's going to be incredibly helpful. Uh, this cab division, we're going to have him go straight over here. Uh, but once we take that, that province, the reason why it's so helpful is because we'll have control of the airbase. Uh, so that's going to be really nice. And then we're going to attempt to come down to the support over here and cut off these troops. Eventually, they're just not going to have any troops left. Which will make uh, going into the eastern part of the country easier, because that's, uh, like the west, is, is very mountainous. And so we don't want to have to fight all those divisions all the way across. Uh, so I suppose we're going to get the next one, the Improved Infantry Equipment 2. Get more uh, passive soft attack bonuses there. And I guess we'll go ahead and update the infantry equipment as well. Seems that we're still fairly short right now. So I don't know if that's the, the best thing to do. Let me see. Let's let's put another factory into this. I think we have one building that should be done soon. Alright, so almost got those div two divisions wiped out. Yeah, no, there's three total. And that'll take the airbase. And that should uh, really help us in the skies. I mean, we already have control of the skies, but it'll be a, a nice bonus for us if we just take a look at where we're at at this point, 91.8%. So much, much better. And that's largely due to the higher uh, efficiency. So that's helping us out, because we're still outnumbered in the skies. I still got like 100 something planes out there compared to our like 60 something. But our planes are superior, so that's another thing to keep in mind. Hmm. See how we want to do this. I wanted to cut these guys off. I want to go this way to take this port here. I think that's the better way to do it. Yeah, I, I think that's the best way to do it. It's just let these guys go over here. So let's go ahead and take more of these divisions and bring them over here. And I suppose what we could also do is have these guys attack here. And we can see if we can get a win here. We should be able to. Yeah, we got plenty of divisions to do that attack. Not really doing anything over here. Again, this is more mountainous. So I think we'll have more success down here, where it's mostly hills. 
All right, so now that we've won this, let's go ahead and do an attack. Uh, these guys do not have supply. But neither do they. Uh, we're obviously worse off for the supply. Part of that's because, like, railroads and stuff haven't been flipped over to us. All right, so it looks like the uh, Romanian tank's the last thing standing here. And then we want to, to move over here and grab this port. So what we're going to need to do is take the cab unit who's got that speed, take an infantry division, and then send this one over here to win. And then this is clearly not going to work, so we'll go ahead and stop it. And let's see if we can't get that province. Uh, we did win here. Excellent. Let's go ahead and now push forward in that undefended province while locking these guys down. We could actually win there. Okay, so we'll just send both of them into this attack here. Alright, so it's, it's the beginning of the end here at this point, guys. Now, unfortunately, we are about to lose there. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Bring this guy over here, and then we're going to have to attack. I don't want them leaving, but we got to help out in that defense. Uh, it looks like one of their troops decided to push forward here. As long as they don't get that air base, it's not that big of a deal, but... Uh, yeah, that's not how we wanted that to go down. All right, we did take this province here. All right, excellent. Let's go ahead and try and push forward a bit further. Uh, but yeah, they are about to, to break out here. But now that they're cut off, we can just attack them throughout here. And let's attack this guy. Maybe we just win. But we want to cut off as many troops as possible here. Again, we just don't want to fight all these troops all the way across here. It'll just take too damn long. I'm not sure which of these air bases is closer here, but we're going to move them down here. We'll lose some efficiency from moving. I think it'd be worth doing simply because this is where we're fighting. It makes more sense to have them over here. And then I think this guy should be trained enough. Yeah, we could let him fully train, but uh, we need as many trips as we can get. We're trying to get this war over. Uh, so let's go ahead and send him over to this front so he can help us out. Well, that's interesting. Italy just declared war on France. Okay. Uh, also, the Estonian Finland League. Whoa, that's that was crazy. So, so two different conflicts just erupted at the same time. Uh, this is they're part of the Allies, the Estonian Finland League, and so they just attacked the Union of Soviet Republics, which remember is the fourth international faction. So this is going to cause huge issues for Trotsky. Yeah, he's in trouble now. Uh, because he's already dedicated to this front over here and now he's got to have uh, fighting over here as well and you can expect that the british and the italians are going to send troops over here though with this new war that just broke out with italy and france this could result in the british focusing over here and doing their naval invasions here and the italians not sending troops over here which then they could just get quickly wiped out and then the uh, russians won't have a front with the allies so it'll be interesting to see what happens next. Like, what is France going to do? Are they going to join a faction, create their own faction? Uh, Spanish? What's going to happen with the Spanish? We don't know yet. And then, of course, you have Germany and Austria-Hungary here in the center of Europe. And, you know, they haven't really started doing anything yet either. Yeah, this should be interesting because, yeah, there's a lot of uh, places where they can fight. Obviously here along their main border. And then you have the British doing naval invasions. And then you have all the, the fronts in Africa with uh, France, Italy, and Britain. Uh, there's also Syria over here. So yeah, really interesting situation developing. Uh, and one that we might be able to capitalize on after this war. So we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, we need to focus on this conflict first before we try and do anything else. Uh, but yeah, very uh, interesting development there. Uh, let's go and go here. Also, these guys are tempted to cut us off, so let's go and stop that madness. And when do these guys leave here? About six hours. We don't have long. And then we're going to need to attack them as well. And yeah, we'll attack here. Oh, we can't do that. Okay, so just let them go over there. And we just need to lock those guys down temporarily until we can get this win here. Which I'm going to go ahead and support with some troops. Try and get it done a little bit quicker. And then with the cam units, it looks like there's nobody here to stop us going after their new capital. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and grab that. And then we're going to take this province here with the infantry units. So we'll just have that fast cab unit. Oh, never mind. Somebody moved there. So we're going to need to use this guy as well. And we got the Legacy of War National Focus completed, uh, which is going to give us that division recovery rate and also a 50% reduction cost.
for our next land doctrine. So I know that we do need to get this one over here because that should hopefully allow us to start getting the cores, including cores in Turkey. So there is that with the decisions. I'm not entirely sure how the decisions work or what they require or whatever. So we do need to get this. However, I think there's still two focuses that are key for us getting over here uh, before we move back over to the, the left part of the, the tree. And that is this one here. This is going to give us more recruitable population immediately. You know, cores obviously would be really helpful in Turkey, which I'm not entirely sure if you have to to have already uh, owned it, you know, through uh, a peace treaty, having taken it through a peace treaty, or if you can just control it. But if it does require a peace treaty, then obviously we have to defeat Romania first. Uh, but maybe it doesn't, and then you can get the, the immediate benefits of making it into core territory. Uh, but obviously we're still not even done conquering Turkey yet. But yeah, getting that recruitable population would be nice, but most importantly I want to get that last land doctrine reduction cost so that we can make use of it. Uh, so we're going to work on that, and then the other thing we're going to do is protecting our skies, and that's the one we're going to do next. Uh, that'll give us air doctrine research bonus, uh, battle uh, support doctrine research bonus, and then uh, a research bonus for the fighter models, which is what I kind of want here, so we can so we can research those with the bonus. All right, so we've taken this location here. Uh, let's just go and keep on advancing, guys. And looks like we did win here. So hopefully they can keep that going, which they were able to. All right, excellent. And then we'll try and get them wiped out. Let's go and move over here. Make sure that he's on this front here. And I guess we'll keep that attack going for now. And let's see where we're going to put this unit. I kind of want to try and come up behind these guys. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll go and take that, but... Uh, maybe we should actually sit here for a minute. We're, we're going to overexpose ourselves to being cut off. So let's just wait. Yeah, let's be patient here. Now let's go and attack here as well. And then it uh, looks like it'll just be all the, the units will come over here. The French Empire joined the Fourth International. I guess that makes sense considering the fact that they're uh, at war with the same countries. But unfortunate because I was hoping to see another fascist uh, faction rise up. So that's very strange. You know, the, the, the French monarchists being allied with the uh, communist Soviets, or Russians. Uh, you know, aren't exactly uh, known for being friendly with the, the Napoleons. Uh, so we're going to go and get this next bonus here, additional containment. That's more organization for all of our units, or for a lot of our units. So that'll be helpful. And we only have one land doctrine left to get. Alright, so yeah, I think this is just about done here. I know that they've got all these troops in the north, which we can't even push forward in at this moment. I guess we'll attempt to go here. I don't think we'll get there before them, though. Nah, they'll be there first. So we'll just go ahead and grab that province and then cut off these guys, which means we'd want to go ahead and attack them to stop them from leaving. And uh, let's go ahead and go... Let's go here. Uh, I think we're going to actually win in this battle here, even though we're attacking across a river. Could have supported that attack, but it's completely necessary. So let's go ahead and push forward here. Need to get another unit into Ankara. Looks like we've got one going, but let's bring somebody else. And we, we have far too many troops coming over here. That's the issue. Yeah, like a lot of these guys could come over to this front here. Yeah, this isn't really necessary having this many over here. Although I guess we're going to assist right here. Yeah. And then these guys would just go straight across. And I suppose we'll get across this river while it's undefended. So we're locking those troops down so that we can try and get this one. Lost my voice a little bit there for a minute. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try and do this, but I think... Uh, I don't think it's going to work out. Well, maybe if we can attack with somebody here. Let me see if they can do it. No. All right, so let's go and pull them back then. They're not retreating, so there is that. Uh, one of them did retreat, and that's the reason why we were probably losing there. Uh, we did get a free dockyard. Let's take a look at how many ships we currently have. Just those two. Uh, it does look like one of our admirals has an upgrade, though. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get the Lancer. That'd be helpful. All right, so those troops are now wiped out, and these guys can all come over to the front here. So let's not... Yeah, let's move these ones. And this one we're going to move over here. And we'll try and advance across this river. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like we'll be able to win. And we'll just take any troops that get here and have them go over there as well. Take that port. There's still the, the ports up here. There's two of them left, or, or three of them left. 
for Romania to send troops and supplies. Though again, I don't know if they have any convoys. I guess we take a look at that real quick. See how many convoys they have. I guess we can also see what their army looks like as well. Yeah, they have two convoys. So that's a, a big part of the reason why we're not seeing, or it is the, the reason why we're not seeing any troops cross uh, or any supplies cross as well. So they're probably hurting on supply, though not as much as you'd expect, considering the fact that they don't have convoys going across here. I guess local supply is enough for them. As you can see, supply fulfillment is, is not bad. All right, we just take a look at the total army. Looks like they got 20-something divisions currently. We don't know how many of those precisely are here in Turkey, but I'm counting, there's quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, ten. So maybe half the army is in Romania. Which means, uh, you know, it's, it's gonna actually require some fighting. And we're gonna still attack there despite the fact that this division's coming over here. We'll just attack them and fight them. And then I'm gonna try and uh, get these two divisions cut off here. Still trying to get across the river there. Now let's go and advance here as well. And just waiting for a lot of troops to move and get their organization up and stuff. Uh, we do not have a lot of manpower at the moment. Manpower is pretty low. Uh, so I really feel like it might be beneficial for us to get the befriend the communists. So we're going to instantly lose like 14% of our stability. And then we'll gain some of that back uh, after the 120 days. But of course then you get the 15% stability here. Which I believe is, is, you know, it's a bonus, so you're actually getting 30% stability. Because you're removing the 15% while gaining 15%. So yeah, you would gain a lot of stability from doing this. It's actually uh, pretty beneficial. So I don't know if it fits roleplay-wise, but I think we might end up doing it this way. I think this might be the best option for us. And we need all the manpower we can get. 5% would be helpful. So yeah, I think we're going to do that, guys. Now uh, we did take this province here. Let's go ahead and continue advancing. We're gonna go towards the capital here. Uh, these guys will go this way, and then this one here will go grab that one province up before Turkey gives it up. Uh, though I don't think they will, uh, because they're going the Ottoman route, so they probably won't give it up. But sometimes they do. Uh, let's go and go this way, uh, and you know what? We'll let these units come here if they want. We'll just go and take it from behind them. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, we just entered into March. And we need to say we don't need to be notified about that. Alright, so we should be moving towards the capital there. Let's go ahead and take this as well. We really want to go after these victory points. Uh, but we are in a uh, little bit of an exposed position. We're going to actually have to attack here. Move this guy here and move him here. Just to lock those guys down temporarily. And then you also have these ones leaving here. So we're going to have to attack them in a few hours. And then we need to wipe out the troops that are over here. Alright, excellent. And we're going to take this location here and then cut off those two units. And let's move these guys like so. Could be cut off over here. Going after that capital right now. Let's go up here. Also, we just took another one of their air bases from them. So they don't have many left. It looks like maybe just one over here. It's pretty far. I mean, they're not going to have good efficiency. So we should be very much controlling the skies at this point. Uh, taking this, we'll cut off all these troops over here, but we don't have anybody to actually capitalize on that. Yeah, this is unfortunate. They're going to be able to break out of this fairly easily. So we need more troops over there, essentially. Which, uh, we got these guys cut off, so that's helpful. Uh, let's just keep on pushing forward here. And then let's bring this guy over here. To assist with the situation that's about to develop over there. Alright, so I think we're just going to work on cutting off these true, uh, these two units by letting that guy leave. Uh, we've taken their capital. Let's just keep on pushing forward over here. And also maybe go ahead and grab those ones. Alright, so once this guy leaves... Oh, maybe he's not going to leave. Okay, then we'll cut him off too. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see what happens. They are attempting to leave now. So that's not surprising. So we'll just wait until they do. Uh, or until they get over here, I suppose. So what you'd want to do... Let's move this guy here. And him over here. You got a bit of time before they get out of there. About a day or so. Uh, we do have a military factory available. Alright, so we'll probably should put it to the infantry equipment. Since that's what we're short on, I believe. Uh, we're... Yeah, lacking 6.5 thousand. Also lacking artillery and support equipment. I mean, pretty much everything. 
our industry is not impressive. Not impressive at all. Uh, so we gotta attack here. We're actually gonna move this guy as well. So uh, we gotta lock those guys down. I'm trying to see how we can do about uh, go about doing this. So let's go ahead and try and uh, thicken this up in case they are able to take something there. And then this guy, I guess, will take this province since it's undefended. But yeah, just lock him down temporarily. We just need more troops over there. And so what we need to do is let's actually take two of these guys and bring them up over here to this front. Probably not going to be sitting up, not, not uh, attacking very often, but we'll make sure they have a planning bonus for when they do. Alright, so we have taken this location here, and he's almost there, so what we want to do is attack right there, basically. Lock him down temporarily. And then... It's probably best to just let him get in one province, so let's go ahead and go over here. And yeah, we'll bring these troops over this way. And then I suppose he can go over here next. That guy won't be completely cut off, so since I have a port, but since I don't have any convoys, he is basically completely cut off. Uh, we need to keep him from getting up behind us, so we have to come back now. We're not actually winning any of these. Let's go ahead and do this attack then. And then we'll also support this one here. Alright, so now we've got this pocket created, so let's go ahead and get these guys wiped out. We'll take the provinces behind them. Uh, the cab unit is going to continue going after their victory points. Uh, they do have another air base over here as well. So yeah, they do still have air bases. Alright, so can we get to this province before him? It's 15 hours right now. We'll get there in 17. So basically, we, we're going to have to attack just for a little while. Just to give him a couple hours to get over to that location. And then let's go ahead and support this attack here so we can get it done a little bit quicker. And I don't know that that was going to be, that that's enough. We're at two hours now. He's at nine, so that was enough. All right, excellent. So let's go after here. Grab these provinces. Uh, they're trying to get out, so what we need to do is now take this guy and attack over here. And we basically just need more troops over here. In order to get this situation dealt with. And let's make sure we have, I think both of these are going over there. Still trying to wipe out that one division there. Uh, let's see how we can... Let's go this way. And this guy should be there soon. Ah, damn. Alright, so they were able to retreat. So now we want to change this up and have him attack here instead. Alright, so he's still very successfully going after these victory points. So let's just go all the way after the capital. We want them to capitulate here. There's no reason to keep this going. We want this to end pretty much as soon as we can, we can make it end. So we gotta wipe out these troops. The Romanian troops will still be here, obviously. Once Turkey capitulates, you know, they'll still have their, those Romanian troops still have those provinces. And now if you're wondering why I'm not doing those one decisions to get our cores back, then it's because we don't have the equipment available. Uh, this does require 250 support equipment and 1,000 infantry equipment. So yeah, we, ju we just don't have that. So you have to actually have to have that surplus in order to make that happen, so it's not really an option for us. Alright, so let's go ahead and send... And this attack clearly here is going to fail, so let's actually go ahead and go this way then. And the problem here is these uh, river provinces, so you know what, let's just go ahead and have... You know what, they can both come over here. Bring the, this guy over here. Just trying to avoid the river penalties. As you can see, we are starting to run low on manpower. Manpower is now becoming a problem for us. Let's try and cut off that unit. Yeah, he's going up towards the coast, so we already have him set up. I'd like to get somebody over here to take that air base. Should hopefully have the win here soon. Let's go and attack this guy since he'll be cut off here very soon. All right, let's go ahead and attack him as well. Get him wiped out. And there's actually a Turkish freight convoy in here. So is that because, yeah, they don't have any ports over here. So that's where they have to take their uh, supplies through is the ports over here. So the Black Sea is once again active. Uh, so apparently Turkey still has at least some convoys. Let's just take a look here. Uh, yeah, they still have convoys. Now, as far as their troop numbers, yeah, barely anything. 
three to six divisions remaining. So we have uh, almost completely wiped out Turkey's military. And they are very lucky that they got the assistance of Romania in this. Because otherwise, this would have been a much quicker conflict. But fighting both of them at the same time, and I think Romania actually brought more troops and, and clearly brought more planes. And so they, they played a huge role in this conflict. So yeah, they're very lucky that they got Romania's help. Because this would have been uh, a much quicker conflict overall. If they hadn't, let's go ahead and grab those ones. We'll have this guy go ahead and get that one. And then send him over here. Just about done there. Excellent. And so now we just need to get this front pushing forward here. And this cab unit is going to go take that uh, capital and port. And that will also result in Romania having no ports left. Though it looks like a lot of their troops are actually over here currently. Alright, so that, that's like one of the, what, two convoys they currently have. And uh, we are currently uh, attacking it. And there we go. So Anatolia has capitulated. They did still have equipment left, as you guys can see. Not a lot, but they had some. Uh, we got their trains, so that's nice. Uh, the provisionary state of Anatolia has capitulated, and now we just need to wipe out those Romanian divisions that remain. Uh, so let's just go ahead and attack here. Just try and get this finished up. And now we need to set up the naval invasion. So let's go ahead and take any excess troops that aren't doing anything and have them start planning that naval invasion, which I suppose we'll just go from... I guess we'll go from this port. Doesn't really matter which one we attack from. And as far as which one we're going to want to go after, that one right there. And we're not going to be able to send all the army. So probably shouldn't send this cab division. Yeah, he should probably do something else. And so what we'll do is let's just have like some of the army sitting here, I suppose. Although I guess you don't want them all in that same location due to supply problems. So maybe have some of them over here. So we're going to want to go ahead and set up a fallback line. I forgot we had the, the makeshift bridges. We could have used that on some of those river attacks. It's too late now, obviously. But yeah, we'll have the cab division go over here. And any other troops that aren't being used, like these guys here, could come over to the invasion. And then, I guess we'll wait. Wait until we get these finished up here. It shouldn't take very long to wipe out the Romanian troops. Get them completely completely destroyed, and then it's just whatever they got left here, which uh, after we wipe out these three, we'll see uh, like what the estimate is for how many divisions they have remaining. Well, let's go and send him over here and him over here. Let's try and get this done a little bit quicker. And then let's go ahead and make sure we Put the mountain troops on this invasion. We want all the mountain troops over here. Since they have some nice bonuses. And then any troops that are like, uh, not fully experienced would be over here. With that cab unit. Alright, so we need two more divisions to go over there. So there's one. And we'll just get another one. Whichever one, doesn't matter. Uh, he's already going over there. There we go. Alright, and then the rest of the army is going to come over here. Once we finish this up. There we go, beautiful. Alright, so any troops that are still remaining and don't have orders will be assigned to that port to protect this port here. And then we'll also want to set them up to train for these two divisions that aren't at the full level so that while we're doing that planning, they are uh, training up. All right, so that war between Pakistan and India has ended in a white piece, as it always does. Yeah, we're in a, a pretty good position now. Just got to do this naval invasion. Sunk their one convoy. They still have some ships remaining, both Turkey and the Romanians do. We don't actually want to sink their ships. I'd prefer to just take them over. Build our fleet up a little bit larger. With some old uh, crappy uh, ships. Siam so just joined... The Japanese faction. I don't even think about that. You had this territory in Indochina, you know, since France is now in the Fourth International, that gives another front that the uh, 
Japanese Chinese faction has to deal with. But now you bring Siam in, and yeah, it's pretty much over for Indochina. So France is going to lose their you know resources over here. Also, it looks like America has annexed the Philippines because remember they are fascists, and so they have annexed the Philippines. It's kind of weird seeing their color over here. So the war has pretty much kicked up everywhere, guys. Just about. It's really just uh, Austria and, and Germany here that have uh, remained outside of the conflict. I don't know if I mentioned this, but Italy has Yugoslavia as a as a subject. I, I think they got it from their, their focus tree or something. And so whenever we fight them, that's going to be another frontier. And you can't fight just Yugoslavia. We'd have to fight them both. Looks like uh, both sides have achieved some success. French took a couple provinces, Italians took a couple, a couple provinces here. Also very likely to get cut off there. So we'll see what happens. And over here it seems like, yeah, it seems like uh, the Soviet Union is, is winning. All right, so we can go and turn this up because uh, this is gonna be a little while before we can launch this attack. Let me just take a look and see exactly how long we have to wait, 70 days. All right, so let's go and turn the speed up so we can get through those 70 days quicker. And we did sink another Romanian convoy there. So they shouldn't have any convoys left, right? So I'm hoping we have success here. We might have to attack a different port. We'll just have to see, guys. Uh, but this should allow us, you know, give us a bit of time to restore some of our, our, our losses when it comes to equipment. But look at the manpower, guys. We have no manpower. But if we can get the equipment built up some, you know, the infantry equipment and the support equipment, which we're very short on, on both of those, uh, maybe we want to, I almost think we should stop producing some stuff, like the trains. We have plenty enough trains at this moment. I mean, eventually maybe we want to build them again. You do lose your efficiency there, but yeah, I just feel like we need our factories for other things. I also almost want to take from the trucks, but yeah, we, we won't do that. Yeah, and put this in the infantry equipment because yeah, we are so short here. Yeah, it's going to take a little while for we're able to do this invasion, guys. So let's put it on uh, speed five. Uh, these guys are almost fully trained. What we could do so that we can always take a look at this is just put them into a separate army. And then they'll stop their training. And then just let them train up. Yeah, uh, that's a better way to do that. So we can always take a look at see how many days we got left here. Uh, this will also let us get some of these techs knocked out. Get some more uh, bonuses for that that conflict uh, for the uh, invasion I mean and maybe we want to start working on the special forces since we do rely on them so much uh, though we, we need the logistic companies too uh, we still haven't gotten tanks there's still passive modifiers here to get and uh, we're gonna want to get the the next fighter model as soon as we get that research bonus so I mean there's so many things for us to currently work on I think we're gonna go and get the logistic company so we can finish up our our designs so yeah, let's go and get that. Figure out how much uh, support equipment we need. But as you guys can see, manpower is a, a serious issue. We're sitting at zero, and there's not really anything I can do at this moment. So further conflict breaking out over there in India. And so yeah, once we do this invasion, you know, we're always going to have that problem that we don't have manpower. I'm hoping they're short on manpower too. We can take a look. Uh, so they're currently sitting at, they, they got a lot more than we do. And they have maybe, I don't know, eight, 10 divisions or so. So not a lot, but they're probably building them with that manpower that they currently have. They're getting a bit of a respite here to fix their issues. Uh, Norway was attacked by Estonia, Finland. So this situation here is, is really causing this conflict to grow. Uh, so Norway now joins the fourth international as well, despite being very democratic. So everybody's just being driven into the hands of Trotsky due to these conflicts. Hard to say what's going to happen over here. They're both advancing. Uh, but in North Africa, it's very clearly going in favor of Italy. And then over here, you see Syria is almost conquered as well. So in the colonies, France is definitely losing. Uh, we got the protecting our skies focus. And next we're gonna go after, you know what, we need manpower so bad. I want this research bonus here, but maybe we should go ahead and knock out this one to see if we can try and core that territory 
Yeah, we desperately need it. Uh, this also gives more non-core manpower. Is that a 70-day one? It is. And then we also can go ahead and get an air doctrine. So we have a choice with the formation fighting, which is the air uh, wing mission experience gain, or the fighter ace initiative, which is the ace generation chance. So we're gonna do we're gonna do this one here, formation fighting. Give ourselves a nice bonus there. And it looks like we got about 35 days remaining before we can do our naval invasion. We have the convoys already set up for that. We already control the sea over here. Wow, what an interesting situation that's developing. Because these are all going to go to war with the Allies. And so now Britain has this huge coastline they could invade from. They, they just did a big old invasion of France. Man, France is not doing well. <laughs> They're doing horribly. I was kind of hoping this conflict would keep them both distracted for some time. Uh, but that doesn't look like it's going to be the case. France is going to get pushed out. I mean, given they're still got to fight the Soviets, but uh, yeah, France is falling apart uh, because they can't protect their, their coastline and fight over here. That's what the problem is. But they're also losing the colonies horribly. Uh, Italy and, and Britain make good allies, though. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, obviously, it's going to cost us instability temporarily. That's going to cause us some problems, of course. We could wait to do it until after we could also work on the improved uh, worker conditions. So you could try and do them both at the same time. Because, yeah, this is 120 days, and then we're going to get all those penalties. So you could just hold on to it a bit longer. Like I said, just do them both at the same time. Or, you know what? Actually, we could start the improved worker conditions now. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Obviously, it has its uh, cost. But we don't want stability to be too damn low. So let's build that up some, and as soon as we get the 250 again, we'll go ahead and do that that one decision. All right, so looking at nine more days, I got another convoy available. And this gives us opportunities to try and sink their fleet, but like I said, I think it would be better to not sink the fleet. Three more days. Uh, I suppose we could just set up so they'll go immediately, but yeah, let's go ahead and send this now. And we'll see how it goes. And these guys are done training here, so let's put them back into this army here. And as soon as we take a port, which does look like we will be successful in that port, unless they move a bunch of troops over here. Poland joined the Central Powers, so I didn't even know the Central Powers have been created, but it has been. And uh, Austria-Hungary has already joined that, as has Bulgaria. Well, that's unfortunate, because that was going to be our next target. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. All right, so Bulgaria joined the, the Central Powers, so now the only way to get them conquered is by fighting the Central Powers, which I don't want to do just yet. In fact, they're kind of a natural ally for us, since uh, they're, they're not the only ones who have territory that we want. Uh, it's actually Italy that has the most. Uh, they have these islands here, they have Albania, and then of course Yugoslavia is their, their subject. And then of course you have the British over here now, and so yeah, we'd want to attack them as well. Uh, we did not bring anybody over here to assist us, so should have done that. I don't know what's going to be the closer area, air base. Probably that one. So we'll send them over there. Yeah, that would have helped us. So the Central Powers must have just now formed. Okay, I see. So if we send some planes over there, that would be helpful. That might have, been what, might have been what ticked us up into the green there. And Latvia joined the Central Powers as well. And Iron Wolf Lithuania. Well, that's interesting because they're fascist. Okay, so... Very interesting situation. This does mean that, that a war is going to you know, break out with the Central Powers because they're going to be pulled into this, this civil war conflict here, which I, I suppose that's probably why they they joined in order to get assistance against the fascists. Just very strange that fascist Lithuania joined the Central Powers. Okay, so the factions are forming, guys. And almost all the major powers at this point are in a faction. The only one that's not is the United States. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to win this here, guys. Really hard to say. If we do land, it's not going to be with a ton of divisions. Uh, we do have a Doctrine available, so let's go and get the next Air Doctrine, which is Hunt and Destroy. Air Support Mission Efficiency plus 20%. I mean, it's still in the green. It does look like we should be able to win this. And, and grab ourselves a port. It's just not going to be a ton of divisions there. Because uh, some of them were, were pushed back. And see what happened there. 
Oh, the, 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 the Civil War is over. Uh, once they got assistance from the Central Powers, of course, they were able to end that very quickly. Uh, so that's over. And so now the Central Powers are, are at peace. Or not at conflict with anybody. And uh, France continues to fall apart. So they, they're definitely going to get defeated here soon. And we did get ourselves that port. All right, excellent. So now we're going to want to go ahead and bring all these troops over there. We might exhaust supply bringing this many. Yeah, it's probably going to exhaust supply. But I want to get the conquest done as quickly as possible. And hopefully we can get some, ourselves some, some local supply soon. Um, so let's go ahead and have this really weak unit go over here. And then we're going to keep... I guess we'll keep two infantry divisions here and then get the mountain troops going. And then the last one can come. We'll send him over here as well. And you know what? Let's actually send this real weakened unit over this way. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this down some. So we're not uh, missing any opportunities here. And we should also give ourselves a, a planning bonus. And so because Romania took so many losses in this conflict here, they're just not able to properly defend their territory. Now they do still have quite a few divisions. They might actually have close to the number we have uh, currently. And you can see fielded manpower is a bit lower, so I mean our divisions have more manpower in them. But the fact of the matter is, is they lost 352, almost 353,000 troops. Uh, we only lost 44,000. So really good kill-death ratio against uh, Turkey. We lost 14,000 while killing 98,000. So yeah, we did fantastic so far in this conflict. Uh, but you know, with our very low manpower, that is still taking a, a hit on us. All right, let's go after these key victory points here. Also go ahead and go up along here, coastline, and get those ports taken over. And it looks like somebody did stop us there. You know what, we should keep them going in this attack so that way we can actually take their capital over. So still just waiting for more troops to, to get over here. And so this guy's only going to be able to go to this province. He's too weak to, to attack right there, I think. Uh, let's go and take, uh, well, we'll go this way. Have him come over here. I prefer to cut that guy off before we do anything else. And let's let's go this way first so we don't get ourselves cut off and then come over here. We did get a, a free military factory and we should probably t put it towards infantry equipment because yeah, we are very short on the infantry equipment at the moment. We have a ton of problems despite our, our victories and our accomplishments. We have a, a whole host of issues guys. All right, so let's go and take this province here. And yeah, they did end up going there. All right, so that's actually good. I want them to go there. As long as they don't take that port there, uh, then they'll be cut off once we take the port behind them. So yeah, this actually worked out fairly nicely for us. That's what we wanted to see, is them leave that port. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's go and take that province, I suppose. Yeah, he'll go over here. But yeah, we have control of their capital. So that's going to cause them some, some issues. And yeah, he's gonna come over here while he grabs his port. And yeah, getting Romania is gonna help with our fuel issues. Uh, which already should... Yeah, we're doing much better when it comes to fuel. In fact, let's go ahead and stop trading for fuel, period. Even if that puts us in the negative, we'll be fine. I'm not too worried about it. And we're not getting any of that rubber from France either, because of course they don't, they don't have the rubber anymore. Uh, so let's go and trade with somebody else. Maybe, well, Siam, you're not going to get the full amount. So there's not a whole lot of choices. So we'll just do, I guess we'll do the Dutch East Indies. Don't really want to trade with Britain if we can avoid it. All right, so we can cut these troops off of the win here. And these guys might already be cut off. Because it looks like this is a separate front here. So what we need to do is actually have it go like so, so that any troops will only be on this side. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure. It seems like they're cut off. All right, so now let's have this guy go here while he goes this way. And just go ahead and take all this. You yeah, know, we'll go this way. Get all this territory conquered. Go and support here. Try and get that done a little bit quicker. And... We need to get the win there. Looks like we can. 
All right, excellent. So yeah, this should be fairly quick, as you guys can see. We're doing doing very good here. So it shouldn't be too difficult to get the Romanians defeated. Uh, let's go and attack here now. And here. Still attempting to get a victory there, so let's actually go ahead and send these guys over this way. So yeah, I just need to wipe out these troops here. And we're just going to go ahead and push forward. We'll push forward here. And then have this guy instead assist with this conflict once he gets over there. There you go, beautiful. He's taking that victory point. Alright, so let's go ahead and just start advancing to this point and, and getting this territory all conquered. Bring this CAD division over here to help us. We're already going after that air base there. Alright, beautiful. And I suppose we're going to go ahead and attack over here. And we'll go across the river now, which is undefended. Yeah, I'm glad this, this uh, situation over here with Romania was, was nice and quick and easy for us to deal with because we need a period of peace to, to fix some of our issues. And we're also getting all these military factories. Uh, let's put it into that infantry equipment because yeah, we're down by 19,000 currently. And, and part of this is from the garrisons, guys. Uh, garrisons are causing us some, some serious issues. We just don't have the manpower to be garrisoning a ton of territory. It'd be helpful if we had gotten military police as well, but obviously we don't, we don't have that yet. But yeah, that would have been helpful to have. Right, so I'm just trying to win this one battle here. Uh, let's actually have him support this. Alright, so these guys are all cut off anyway, so let's, let's just go ahead and start attacking now. Yeah, I think this guy might have already been cut off. So let's have them push forward here. And he can stay up on this front here. Go and attack there. Over here. This guy's really weak, so let's just go and attack him. Now it's just about getting the territory conquered at this point. I'll go and attack this way. And let me change that up. And then he's just going to advance here. I'm just trying to get this done now, so we're going after victory points. Uh, we did get the improved infantry equipment too. All right, excellent. So giving us some nice passive uh, bonuses there. And uh, the, the fighters on the next thing I want to get with that 100% research bonus. So let's get the improved small airframe. I said the fighters, but obviously the small airframe is what I meant. Uh, and we have another military factory taken from Romania, so let's go and put that into the infantry equipment, which we're just so short on. We're not re uh, currently building anything, we're just repairing. So what we'll do is, let's make sure that like actual useful things, like factories and such, I guess we'll just take these up to the top, this will be quicker. If anything repairs, that we repair those first. But yeah, we want to build stuff. So let's go ahead and do another military factory. Let me see how we're doing on, on civilian factories currently. We have 26. Okay, so yeah, we'll do one more military factory here. Because again, equipment is, is an issue for us, a major issue. All right, so Romania should be done here soon, guys. More military factories. Now let's just put all of them into infantry equipment, support equipment, and the improved artillery for now. Of course, once they capitulate, we might lose some of that. So we'll go up this way, and this way. And then let's send this guy in here to assist. Take this guy and have him assist here. So I'm surprised they haven't capitulated yet, considering we have all their major victory points at this moment. Uh, we'll stop that. Let him move over here. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, let's go and take this location. Cut that guy off. Although it looks like he's going to retreat. So yeah, no point. I'm trying to do it that way. Alright, and then have him go ahead and grab that for us. And you know what? This guy will just fill this in here. And then he can keep going where he's at. 
And then let's make sure, I mean, I think he's already assigned to this front, so that's fine. And there we go. All right, so they still had some equipment, but not a ton, but it does help us. And Romania has now capitulated. We have the peace treaty, which uh, we're just going to annex all of this, guys, because we want to annex any former Byzantine territory, and we need their oil here. And like I said, I think we were going to annex all the Balkans, all the Balkans that we can. Like, if we don't go to war with the Central Powers, which I don't know how we'd do that and not uh, and just leave Bulgaria sitting there. Yeah, we just want to go ahead and annex everything. Uh, but let's take the, the fleet first, so I don't forget. So we'll get the whole fleet taken. And then we want to go ahead and conquer all their territory. I don't think there's anything else we want to do. All right, so with that done, let's go ahead and confirm and take a look at what we got when it comes to their to their fleet. So we got five more destroyers and one submarine, which the submarine is a, a newer one. We got a battle cruiser, two light cruisers, two more destroyers, and, and a bunch more submarines. All these are really old ships as well. Okay, interesting. Now let's go and take these guys off. Their current order, they're already here, excellent. And same thing with them, we're no longer at war. We could have mined up a bit if we had any destroyers that do mining. I didn't even think about it until just now. All right, so we'll send them all over here where our large port is, or we could send them over to Istanbul, I suppose. Yeah, I guess we'll have all the submarines go over there. And uh, hopefully should be able to change that to Constantinople with a decision. And then with these ones, see how we want to do this. So we're going to take the, the level 2s out and put them down here for now. And then with the level 1s, let's take those and have them join into this one here. And then all the other ships are all just going to join into this one for now, this one fleet. So that's what the fleet currently looks like. Uh, we have a decision available, and we take a look at uh, quite a few decisions available, actually. Now, we are almost to the 250 for befriend the, the communists, and we no longer have the stability issues here either. So we should probably do that next, get more manpower. But yeah, there's also all these resources that'd be really helpful to have. We won't need to do this one right now. So I'm gonna say we don't need to be notified about that. So I'll keep the resource ones up there because those are what we'd be taking until we can do these, which we have to get. Well, manpower is also required. We need 2000 manpower. We're sitting at 582 currently. All right, so as far as where our troops should go, I'm not entirely sure because uh, I'm not sure who we're going to go to war with now because I was planning to do the war with Bulgaria, but the war with the Central Powers doesn't make sense at this point. I think it makes more sense to go to war with the Allies over anybody else. So in that case, you'd want your troops over here on this border and over here on the border with Syria. So yeah, we'll, we'll get those troops moved. Obviously, we're going to need a period of peace uh, to get through. You know, we need to take those decisions. Uh, we need to get through a bit of more of our focus tree. You know, we, we want to do that war with Turkey to capitalize on the civil war, which I think was a good move and very beneficial to us. But now we need to recover. We have no manpower, no equipment. Uh, we're just in a, a really bad position. So war is not going to be happening anytime soon with uh, any of these major powers. So it just put us in a horrible position. Uh, so yeah, I'll get these trips moved in between episodes. And then we're going to have... At least one episode, maybe a couple episodes apiece to fix all of our issues, get through our focus tree, get stronger, basically. Uh, try and uh, course on this territory. We have barely any cores. That's the reason why we don't have any manpower, guys. Uh, so yeah, we need to we need to fix all these issues, uh, essentially. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.